the first thing that, that I try and brace people for when they come into self-defense classes to understand that self-defense is essentially asking for a movement or a series of moves to take you from a losing situation. Like somebody has already grabbed you or somebody is attacking you generally bigger or stronger. And you're saying, I hope this technique can take me from a losing situation to a winning situation against probably an, an opponent with a size or strength advantage. So the first thing I generally try and tell people about self-defense is preemptive self-defense is better. You know, um, sometimes that's just respect, you know, being kind to people and things like that can help us defend ourselves or stay out of, you know, confrontations that might lead. But many times it doesn't matter what we do. Sometimes bad people are just bad people and do bad things. So different things like staying aware of your surroundings, paying attention to people that are walking by you, you know, walking with good posture and your chin up and your eyes scanning, looking, making eye contact with people that come close to you and kind of having a bubble. You know, and a lot of people feel awkward about it, you know, talking to somebody, confronting somebody that's getting too close to them. But there's a point when when you need to, and that's part of preemptive self-defense. Somebody starts getting too close to you or they're pacing you and you start to feel uncomfortable, you know. One thing I tell my students is don't be afraid to turn to them, say, hey, can I help you? What can I do for you? Can I help you out? Are you lost? You know, find out what's going on. That way, at the very least, if they are trying to attack you, you at least already have your hands in front of you, you're already facing them, and you're, you already at least are starting closer to an even ground with somebody. You know, so I know that's like a quick summary, but preemptive self-defense is the first thing I talk about. It's the very first thing I tell anybody is, we're gonna learn all sorts of techniques, and we're gonna beat them to death. We're gonna do them and do them and do them until you're good at them and you're comfortable with them. But the best thing you can do is be prepared before the situation starts. It's not always possible, but it is what you should try and do basic things you can do if you do end up in a situation where you are having to hit somebody is facing them having your hands up having your feet spread out just being in a good basic stance it doesn't have to be fancy or complicated it doesn't have to be some like karate kid thing you know it could be my feet are spread apart my knees are bent my hands are up in front of me and i'm i'm ready to strike uh, another thing is a lot of people think that from watching usc or, or different things that if they get in a fight, they're going to punch this guy in the face. Well, you're probably going to break your hand if you do that. Um, so one thing that in the basics we talked about is striking with strikes like the palm heel, you know, hitting with the bottoms of our hands. Same thing with a hammer fist, striking with the fronts and the rears of our elbows, striking with the tops of our knees. Things like this can be more effective tools than getting in there and like trying to bash your hard knuckles against their hard head and yeah. end up hurting yourself. But when it comes to self-defense, the biggest thing is to be willing to dedicate yourself to your own safety it's not fair to me that we live in a world where you might do nothing wrong and somebody might try and hurt you anyways it's not fair it's not cool and, and it's especially terrible that it happens so much to women uh, but unfortunately that's not as as we try and change society and do things to better that for for ourselves and for others at the same time we have to protect ourselves along the way to that better world and you have to be willing to dedicate yourself to the hard work it takes because self-defense isn't fair. That's an that's a important thing to know about self-defense. It's not fair. When somebody attacks you, it doesn't matter that you really wanted to take more shorts this one time or, or take some self-defense classes this one time. It doesn't matter. It's now too late. What you've got is what you've got. And what you built up until that day, whether it be in confidence, whether it be in strength and fitness, whether it be in technical ability, what you got is what you got. So my biggest thing to people is get in somewhere and learn how to defend yourself and be willing to dedicate it dedicate yourself to it it's you know there's so many different ways to work out in my opinion the reason i love martial arts and the reason i do it is because it's an intelligent way to work out where i'm constantly learning even even doing this going on two decades now i'm, I'm constantly learning things every day as i continue to train myself and it makes it much more interesting to me than just going out and lifting weights. I like lifting some weights occasionally too, don't get me wrong. Going to the gym's fun, going to workout class is fun, but you get in here and you don't just get fit, but you learn how to defend yourself and you learn something that might save you one day. And if that situation ever does happen where somebody does attack you, what you got is what you got and maybe what you got is good.